This sneaker is for my people with beards and for people who specifically want to make their beard appear more fuller, more darker. Morning, AD team. Also, done. I'm back again with another vlog. Yep, this is me first thing in the morning. Literally got out of bed and made some breakfast right here. We got three eggs, wedges, and uh, two egg whites. This is one of my go to meals. So, 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 so good. But guys, I got a super, super busy day right now. I'm um, currently 9.20 a.m. And after this, we gotta get ready because we got a photo shoot, we got videos to film. Let's get to it. All right, guys, now we're ready. Check out the fit for today. So this is actually a Fashion Nova Man outfit because they sent me some clothes and I'm doing a sponsorship for them on IG. So a part of today, I gotta go take pictures whenever Ocon gets there first. So you guys are gonna see behind the scenes of that, how I take these pics. And then after that, that's when we're gonna get into the YouTube video. So, like I said, a busy day, and it's not the best weather outside, but we still gotta make do, so let's go. five to 10 minute home shoulder routine that you can do pretty much anywhere, all right? We're only gonna include body weight exercises and the only equipment you need is a bench or something to raise your feet on and that's pretty much it. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Own and progression, it's all that I wanted. The foe and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The foe and affection, I summon and dub it. Why you be all in my line about? Nothing, why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a who line for nothing. I see that we different, you ride and I double. I don't do discussions on bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken. Don't call me your brother, I barely can trust you. I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bugging. And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate, so hand me the money, I divvy the pie. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune on flipping the ride. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe. And 40 on 50 is really the time. Why is you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kids to the side. I don't know if you thinking I'm blind. Cross on my cross. Is it dead on my eyes? Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's what it the wise Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing I know I've been missing, I needed some personal time Full of pictures, dimensions I don't with your digits, I mean it, I'm staying inside Cause they got problems with problems Alright guys, now I'm on my way to get my hair cut Today's haircut day, so You probably can't see, but I got my hair, like, picked all the way out And I usually do that whenever I do get a haircut Cause today I'm getting a trim, but We have a little talk with the barber I'm gonna let you guys know what I get, all right? Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm in the chair I'm with. Jay the Monster, what's up, guys? Jay the Monster, he's been cutting my hair for like over a year now here in Orlando. So explain to them kind of like how I get my hair from a barber's perspective, like what I get. So basically, it's not it's too complicated. He gets a uh, six on top. His hair is more curly, so you can kind of see. It's more of like an afro right now. We're about to trim it. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at, this is called the C cup right here, where it's, uh, it's like the letter of C. It's um, it's not too long, this right here. So it's gonna get a high fade. Um, then basically, you just cut this section off, and there's no C cup. And you know, you kind of just basically blend it into the top. And basically, with his head shape, we're gonna do a slight drop in the back, just mm -hmm. so it. Uh, so my shit, my shit, kind of big, but <laughs> it's just basically. <clears throat> I'm just gonna contour his head a little bit yeah. more, uh, you know, for him. Jay the Monster, Jay the right monster. there. Jay the Monster. But Jay the Monster. Cut. Here it is, right here. Not styled, and you guys saw what Jay said, how it is. So, here is my big secret, guys, that I've been doing for a minute. This secret is for my people with beards and for people who specifically want to make their beard appear more fuller, more darker. Um, for at least one to two weeks, right? And I do this after I get a haircut every single time. That's why I'm showing you guys, all right? So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need, just for men, 
beard and mustache dye. Yep, guys, we are gonna dye the beard. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it and how I do it every single time I get a haircut. And I got the color real black. Not jet black, but real black. So you can get this from CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Target, pretty much any store. Just go in the men's aisle and you'll find, find it the hair stuff. So here's how we do it. We gotta let's take this off. So obviously if you have like a super thick beard that's very, very dense and full, you don't need to do this. But for people who just wanna, you know, make their chin strap or beard, whatever you got, just look for it. So you're gonna have two things. The first one is the color base and this one is the color developer, right? And when you get this, you'll also get this little brush and you'll get this little tray. As you can see, I've used it quite a bit, right? And then also you're gonna need some sort of beard wash or you can use face wash, but it's better if you use like a beard wash. All right, so here's what we do. You first get the color base. You put it in the tub like this. You just wanna do like a single line like that, right? That's perfect. You don't wanna go to like too much with it. And then you get the color developer. You're gonna put it right beside it. It should be white and make it an even line. So it should look like that, right? Now, before we start mixing in it, here's what you need to do. You need to look at your beard and kind of analyze it and figure out what parts do you want darker and what do you want to appear more fuller or darker. For me, um, so obviously I have a lot of chin here. Like this is thick, I don't put nothing here, but over here on my jawline area, right here, that's where I'm gonna put it at and kind of a little bit right here. And also on this side, starting up from the hairline going down and then I have a, my beard naturally has like this patch thing. Some people have like really full chin, chin hair, but I'm gonna put a little bit right here, right? So that it just looks like my hair is higher. So let's go ahead and mix it up. You just grab the brush and you, and you just mix it like this, right? Just like that to where it's nice and mixed up. All right, so now the color is starting to develop. What you wanna do real quick is grab the brush and go ahead and start applying it to where we talked about. So for me, it's gonna be in this area. And as you see, I start from my, the, the, the way my hairline, is it called a beard hairline? I don't know. I start from my beard hairline and I go down because it will also make your beard hairline sharper. So still applying it, bam. And it's super quick guys, so make sure to get all the way to the, the jaw area. And what mostly this is targeted for and what people use it for is for people who have graying hairs, right? So people who are like graying and they don't want any gray in their beard. But like I said, what I figured out is that you can use it to darken your beard temporarily and it look awesome. So. I'm just about done here, as you can tell. It's very, very easy to do. And bam, so I'll put it right here, as you guys saw, just a little bit over here and over here, right where my trouble areas are. So a lot of people, they, they can't like connect really good. So you can grab more of a finer brush. You might have to buy one and kind of put it where your beard connects with your mustache or even put it in your mustache area. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna wait. So usually I would do this, like I would turn on the shower and I would get in the shower, but I'm not gonna get in the shower today because I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it at the sink. But um, over the course of the next three to five minutes, you'll notice that this will slowly start, start to turn really, really black, including what's on the brush, what's in the tin. And actually, as we're waiting, you wanna go ahead and rinse the brush out so that it doesn't stain the brush or this tub so that you can use it again. But we're gonna wait a few minutes and then I'm gonna get back to you guys and we'll see how it looks and I'll show you how to rinse it out. All right guys, so it's been a few minutes now and as you see, like I said, it's starting to get really, really dark, right? You can clearly see where I placed the dye. So now it is time to rinse it out because we don't wanna leave this in too long, the most five minutes. So here's what we're gonna do. First start off by just a rinse. Just rinse out the dye as much as you can with just some water. All right, 
Dusty rinse a few times. Now we grab our beard shampoo or beard wash. Apply a little bit. Now we're gonna massage it into the beard to get all of it out now. And it sh should be on your hands a little bit. Like it should be a little dark. And be careful because if you leave it on your skin too long or any type of item, you can actually stain it. So keep that in mind. Rub it nice and well and then simply rinse it out. tell how it's looking more darker and more filled as you should the results should literally be immediate so after that I grab my brush I brush it down and style it your beard however you want And bam, just like that, it's done. So it should appear more darker, more fuller. You can see why I started at the hairline because it looks even better now. And like I said, this is gonna last anywhere between one to two weeks. And I get my hair cut anywhere between one to two weeks. So I do it after every single one. So that's my little secret to get your beard looking thick and full. Try it out and let me know if you like it. And if you enjoy these tips and this vlog, then definitely be sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new because it has been crazy with the support so thank you guys and who knows um if we hit 100k I might just reveal my subscriber count so subscribe 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 i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace